And Chris, he seems a lot more comfortable pitching here at home than on the road, right? Indeed, Boog, and there can be several factors, whether it's just sleeping in your own bed, being around your family, Leading going to your favorite restaurant Cleveland. before you come to the ballpark. Don't I don't know what it is Steve for him, Bay. but the numbers are clear that he's been dominant in this place. The only frustration is you see how good he is at home, and if you're a teammate or a coach, you're looking and saying, hey, if you can be almost as good as that on the road, you're going to have a great year, and we're going to win more ball games. And the 1-0. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. That yeah. catches the corner. One ball, two strikes. And that's in the dirt. Oh. And now the count oh, filled count. up three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Swing and a foul straight back. One down, base is empty. No, that missed. That's the ball. Swing and a miss. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. That's out to center field. Sawinski on the move. Grabs it on the run. And there are two outs. Take a look at the lineup. And a guy having a big year for him. Stephen Kwan. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Jose Ramirez, the next to hit, takes ball one. Another solid power season. Well, Jose Ramirez had a sensational 2018 season. He became just the eighth. Oh, this that pitch rides in too far. That got him. Oh, he's only an out away from getting through the inning, but he just lost control for a brief moment there. It's not the end of the world, but don't let one mistake turn into another. Get your focus hey. back right ah. here. Josh Naylor stands in now and oh, watches strike one. Ramirez, the runner at first with two gone. Keller picks over, and he's back in safely. And one and two. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. The 1-2. Next offering misses down and away. Battling here as he fouls it away. Got him. And that is that. 
No runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. Back here at PNC Park and getting to start, Tanner Bybee. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball Leading into up, the zone. So we'll right. see how right-handers do against him in this one. And now Jack Sawinski. The pitch. That misses. No, that misses. And it's one and oh. The why to kick the pitch. That misses That's the zone, ball. and it's 2-0. and oh. Swing and a miss, strike one. Two and one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. The no, next pitch misses, 3-1 and one now. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Brian Reynolds here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. Swing and a foul straight back. Runner at first with no outs here. here go, Check on the runner. Oh. Sawinski back in standing. And a pitch. The other way. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That's in there, and that's strike two. That's inside. That's inside. No outs, runners at first and second. The next offering oh. misses, and the count is even two, two, two and two. And another ball. Carlos Santana waits on deck for Pittsburgh. Three two on the way. Bows it back with two strikes. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Runner around third on his way to the plate. In there, he's safe. And it's one nothing. Back-to-back -back singles, not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. First and second, no outs. And now the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. 
the 1-0. And that drops in for a strike. First and second here, no outs. Next pitch nope. misses inside. Two and one. Good Could be luck. some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And that one lifted in the air center field and there's one down. That is good. No we take team. a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek yeah. Shelton. And a key piece a guy having a big season for them Henry Davis. Yeah definitely someone I always enjoy you know when I get a chance to watch him whether he's hitting a game or even taking swings during batting practice man this guy is always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand he's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box the his success rate is really high Henry Davis wow. at the plate now that's ball one. The 1 0. Just that missed. missed. The Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Reynolds, the lead runner at second. McCutcheon over at first with one away. Next pitch is outside. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Here's the throw to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. And they take a two run lead. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that AB. I really like the approach to that swing. That was a good change up on the corner, but he recognized it early, did get jumpy, and just smacked it to the opposite field. One away, runners at first and third. Here's the third baseman, number 19. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Tough start for him so far. Already at 30 pitches here in the first. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Falling behind no, two and down. one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And that one is lifted in the air and makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. Play it home. He's safe. And they lead by three. Well, that's the third run of the inning, and these guys are doing a nice job of executing at the plate right now. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Andy Rodriguez trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Come on, Pirates. Splits yeah. the plate, and that is strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. And here it comes. And a good eye oh. there. Let's go, 
And a base hit up the middle. Andy Rodriguez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Up next for the Pirates, Nick Gonzalez. All right, here's our trade. Let's go. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Two on, two outs. And he grounds one back up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and everyone's safe. The bases are loaded. And now the shortstop, Leover Paguero. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Hey, it's still early in this ball game, but you know this at bat right here could be a big factor in the outcome. You think about it. There's a chance to really blow this thing open right here. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Close, but called a ball. Three balls, no strikes. There's a strike. Three one. And a strike. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the three two. If he'll throw a breaking ball three one, he'll do it again three two. Bounce to third. Ramirez. That ends the frame. So they get three runs in the inning, but they also leave the bases loaded. We head to the second from PNC Park. It's the Pirates three and the Guardians nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, new inning getting started. Here's Andres Jimenez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Next one just misses. Now two and two. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dynamic.